Over the course of my life, I've encountered no shortage of those who would presume to speak of good and evil. Such terms mean nothing. People do what is in their best interest, regardless of who gets hurt. Is it evil to take what one wants? To satisfy hunger, even if doing so will cause another suffering. What some would call evil, I believe to be an appropriate response to a harsh and unfair world. The world is a rather awful place. Best to meet it on its own terms. I'll tell you what I know about death, Camille. Death dances silently in everyone's shadow. And she doesn't give a damn. So, why give a damn about her? The line between what brings us pain and what sustains us is far thinner than one imagines. For all the poems written on the subject of unrequited love, there are so few on the pain of being the object of that affection. We all must stand alone against our demons. An immutable law of nature, Marcel, is the strong always take from the weak. It's not love on which the strongest foundations are built. It's the decency of merciful lies. Loneliness, Stefan. That's why you and I memorialize our dead. There's the briefest of moments before we kill where we literally hold their life in our hands. And then we rip it away. And we're left with nothing. So gathering other people's letters or writing their names on a wall is a reminder that in the end we're left infinitely and utterly alone. They say the passage of time will heal all wounds, but the greater the loss, the deeper the cut and the more difficult the process to become whole again. The pain may fade, but scars serve as a reminder of our suffering and make the bearer all the more resolved never to be wounded again. I've heard that time heals all wounds, but that has not been my own experience. But putting your love in a place is a mistake. And being here in our home Seeing these walls, I'm reminded that it is people who are best suited to fill our hearts. There is beauty in the courage of the fragile fighter. Those who persevere, despite all they've been through. Those who still believe there is good in the world. Us dark things often find we need that light the most. What's done is done. What's done is never done. It remains within us. The story we tell ourselves so we know who we are. Painting is a metaphor for control. Every choice is mine. The canvas, the color. As a child, I had neither a sense of the world nor my place in it, but art taught me that one's vision can be achieved with sheer force of will. The same is true of life. I was on a trek in the Andes and a hummingbird flew up to me and just hovered there staring at me. Its tiny heart was pattering like a machine gun. And I thought, what a thing. You know, to have to work that hard every day just to stay alive, to be constantly on the verge of death. And how satisfying every day must be that it survived. And that was the only time I thought about being human. <laughs>